What's going on, y'all? My name is Joltage, and today, bring you first blood, well, LC's first blood of week two of SPL8 between Hasup of the Glassius and ICT of the Cryos. Now, looking at the Hasup has brought some heat. Holy shit, we got Pancham, um, as well as Clam Pearl and Doduo. Uh, all three of them making their. Wait. I think all three of them are making their SPL debuts. Oh, Dope Duo is also on ICT's team. I think they're making their debut. Dope Duo may not be. I honestly don't remember. But yeah, Hasup's got the heat, so we can probably expect a Z Memento Cottony um, for that Clam Pearl. Anyway, we're starting off the game, and uh, we've got Magnemite in on the Pumpkaboo. ICT without the Electric Resist, so I mean immunity. So I mean, this is a free volt switch if he sub wants it which I can't imagine he wouldn't uh, Magnemite doesn't exactly threaten out Pumpkaboo and we are confirmed that it's, it's, it's a scarf mag because of Pumpkaboo's frisk ability so honestly I think this is a pretty safe either will-o-wisp for Pumpkaboo just to get some chip on something or yeah I think will-o-wisp would be the best play for ICT as he sub is just gonna go for that volt switch um, yeah, just gonna go for that old switch. Probably out to his Cockney. Um, it's really the only thing that really wants to come in on this Pumpkaboo. Uh, as Pumpkaboo is actually kind of annoying to switch into. Obviously, you don't want Doduo to get burned, neither, uh, Pancham either. But actually, does go to Pancham to eat the Will O Wisp. I uh, questionable here, actually. I felt like that willow was, was fairly obvious and you don't really want your pancham getting burned but pancham already has a tough enough time doing work anyway but uh, anyway pancham's in and i guess it can just fire off either a knockoff or a parting shot uh as ict is going to go out to dwebble and parting shot does come out maybe he subs just decided pancham's going to be a uh, pivot option for him this game but in comes dwebble dwebble also has access to the uh, to weak armor, which obviously was buffed this gen. So whether it's running weak armor or sturdy juice is uh, kind of a toss up. I don't re I haven't really noticed a trend toward either. But um, yeah, so we'll see how that goes. Um. Theoretically, Clam Pearl could come in to, like, set up, but there's still an app around ICT's team, and I don't think Clam Pearl takes out, uh, either, I don't think, I don't know if Clam Pearl takes out Temper, probably doesn't, um, but Hesub is just gonna go out to his Onyx, probably for the Taunt, uh, and will likely eat a knockoff in the process, but probably for the Taunt, and setup of his own rocks yeah it might be worth it to keep dwebble around no it just goes for the rock blast and it is a weak armor dwebble so each of these consecutive hits is going to do more but he only gets the two hits and dwebble's gonna get one more free hazard uh, as he just decides to go for the spikes over the rocks interestingly um, I guess that does hit more Meaning it hurts Magnemite more than rocks do. It hurts uh, Onyx technically more than rocks do, though. Onyx, you're really just trying to get rid of the sturdy anyway. But what, Dwebble is going to go for the knockoff as opposed to getting up that second uh, hazard. But uh, as Hasep decides to go for the rocks, it is going to get up that second hazard. And Rock Blast is going to be able to take out the Dwebble. Um, like I said, I probably I might have uh, I might have considered trying to keep. Dwebble around if I was Hasep because that was one of the few things that Clam Pearl can theoretically set up on um, if he determines Clam Pearl is that win con. But to be that win con, you do need to get rid of the Abra, who is the sweep stopper, thanks to um, Magic Guard Sash. Really annoying. Um, so we'll see what ICT is going to go for. I think he can easily either go out to Timber or Pumpkaboo, Pumpkaboo being the safer option, because like I said, Pumpkaboo is really annoying for 
Aesop to come in on and uh, no well he just decides to go for Abra. Abra is also a good option likely carrying the energy ball which will take out Onyx and Psychic probably would take out Onyx actually Onyx does not have the greatest special defense and Abra is pretty strong so we shall see what he's going to go for. I'd imagine Hasep would want to save this. It's kind of his Doduo check. That and the Scarf Mag. Doduo is also possibly Scarfed on ICT's team. Would provide a lot of speed which the team doesn't necessarily have otherwise. Like, I mean, he has an Abra, obviously. But, like, other than Ab So it's Abra and Doduo that are fast and then everything else is kind of slow. And nothing would out, and if Dodu is not scarf, nothing outspeeds like your scarfers and stuff. So I, I, I wouldn't be surprised if it was. Ooh, damn, that psychic did a lot. Oh, it's berry juice. Okay. Interesting. I've been noticing. Um, I've been noticing more people using berry juice on stuff, as opposed to the, as opposed to EV light and. Um, that spadef drop obviously is unfortunate for the cottony and like I said it, it like I said this Abra is likely sash could of course be life orb but I don't think I think if it was life orb it probably might have taken out the cottony just straight up there um, but we shall see what Hasep decides to do here ICT can pretty freely just fire off another Psychic. I wonder if Dodu is scarfed on Hasep's team as well. It's possible. My beats. Hmm. There's also the possibility of the Swords Dance for a Memento to give it an opportunity to set up, but I'm not sure. A lot of Memento being used so far this SPL, actually, from what I've noticed. like Cottony's one light thing it does pretty well nowadays as Cottony's really kind of fallen off a cliff compared to last gen um, at least in my opinion anyway Hasep's going to go out to his Magnemite who's going to take the Psychic relatively well and is just going to be able to Volt Switch out of here um, should he decide to keep this which he likely will oh yeah I forgot this Magnemite is Scarf so the Dodo is likely not Scarfed on Hasep's side um but yeah, the Volt Switch is pretty free. If I was ICT, you definitely just switch out into like Pumpkaboo or some shit to uh, preserve the Sash. Oh, never mind. You just let your Abra's... I mean, Abra's still stupid threatening, obviously, um, to Hasep's team just because Abra hits really hard. So I'm interested to see what Hasep's going to decide to go into on this play. I wonder, he probably can't get pull that off, but I wonder if he could go into his cottony on this psychic. Hopefully live. I think it will live. Um, then memento and try and get the clam pearl sweep. I'm not sure, but I feel like deep, plus two deep sea to hydro pump might take out timber. It might. I don't, I'm going to be honest, I don't know clam pearl calcs. But he does decide to go to the Cottony, and Psychic is going to do exactly as much as it did last time, leaving Cottony with um, 1 HP, and or roughly 1 HP, maybe 2, probably 1, and is going to go for the Tailwind, oh, okay, I didn't see that one coming at all, actually. Um, Alright, so I'm guessing Doduo is going to come in and kill something now? Yeah, I'd expect Doduo to just come in and murder something more than anything else technically I guess clam pearl could be not smash I suppose if you're just playing on tailwind supporting and clam pearl does come in and something's gonna die ice punt I mean ice beam is the by far the safest play for haste up here just in case ICT decides to go to pumpkaboo 
Um, I doubt Punkaboo is going to take two Ice Beams as it is a... Uh, I doubt Punkaboo is going to take two Ice Beams after Rocks with the Deep Sea Tooth. Because Clampearl's pretty strong. Though I might be overestimating Clampearl. I, I've been known to overestimate Pokemon <laughs> in uh, my commentaries. See Bulbasaur from Madoka's game. But um, we shall see. So I expect the Ice Beam to come out from Aesop. ICT, I would probably try to save this. I think it's still very useful. Oh, no. Just Surf and doesn't try to save it. In comes Grimer. Um, Grimer probably or might live. I have no idea. People need to stop using stuff I haven't seen. It's like, no, they should keep using stuff I haven't seen. But I really have no idea what type of damage to expect here. Um, I said he might go for the Pursuit in case Hasep tries to switch this out, but I mean, that kind of wastes, I mean, that just wastes a Tailwind turn for Hasep. So, and it's not like anything particularly l takes out Grimer, like Onyx does, obviously. But, I don't know. I doubt he'd want to switch in Onyx here, so I, I expect Aesop to just go for the... Uh, no, he just he does decide to switch out into his Panjam, who's going to take a knockoff. And doesn't lose its item. So maybe it's Z-Parting Shot Panjam, which also makes sense. I was just expecting it to be Z-Memento Cottony. Um, yeah, Z-Parting Shot Panjam's pretty decent, I think. Just doesn't like, um, it just, it, Pancham I find misses its Eviolite pretty well. Um, it's like a lot less bulky without it, and its slow speed makes it a bit of a, um, liability. Anyway, he's gonna go for the Z parting shot on the Grimer. Which will bring in Magnemite back to full. Who's going to take the... Uh, I don't... I don't know what Hasep was really expecting there. Maybe he was expecting the switch out. But now Magnemite has lost its choice scarf. And... That's not very good for it, obviously. He's just going to take out the Magnemite with the Pursuit after taking a Thunderbolt. And I don't think it's looking great for Hase up here. Obviously, you still can win, but you can't set up Clam Pearl on Grimer because he needs the Deep Sea Tooth to have any shot of taking out Timber, I think. Obviously, you can go Onyx. That kind of invites in... Well, it invites in both Pumpkaboo and Timber. Aesop's also running quite low on timer here. So, um, uh, obviously Doduo can come in. Doduo will kill something as soon as it comes in, but you probably don't want Doduo taking a whole lot of damage. It's a really nice to work. watch this timer thing. 10 seconds. Okay. In to the... Oh, <laughs> I like the uh, I like the naming themes we both got going on. Into the Onyx, hey, up goes. Who are named? I just noticed all of his teams were named after Sherlock char Sherlock characters. I haven't seen the newest season yet, but the other seasons were pretty good. And then we got ICTs named after Ariana Grande stuff. So fun naming themes. Hey, up's gonna pull the double into Pancham as ICT's gonna go out to Pumpkaboo. I mean. Again, Punkaboo's not really threatened by a burned Pancham. Yeah, the knockoff will be decent, but like, doing no damage. And Punkaboo's gonna be able to take out the Pancham. In comes Clampro, who will be able to fire off an Ice Beam. It does outspeed Punkaboo. And nothing really wants to come in on an Ice Beam, so, I mean, Clampro's still doing work, as in terms of like wall breaking I guess if that's the role he wants to take I think Hasep's trying to 
set up for a Doduo cleanup late game. Or is ICT also? Or is ICT probably looking to finish with Timber? I would think. Get Timber. You get Doduo low enough so Timber can mock punch it. Yeah. Um, I expect Doduo to come out for ICT right here. Grimer doesn't really uh, do anything, I think. Yeah, I expect Doduo to come out. No, he just goes to Timber. Um, Timber probably. Yeah, Timber won't outspeed unless he's running a particularly fast one. It might be a speed tie, but again, that'd be a particularly fast one. So it can eat a surf here. And holy shit, that does a lot. Um, but Mach Punch is going to be able to take out uh, Clamperl this turn. And I assume in comes Doduo, who's likely taking a Mach Punch. I wonder if this is going to be a Berry Juice Doduo. It could be a Scarf Doduo. It could be a Life Orb Doduo. ICD decides not to go for the Mach Punch, opting to save the Timber. And, okay, not a Life Orb. It could be Scarfed, and it could be Berry Juice. I'm leaning towards Berry Juice on Hasep's team. ICT's team, I kind of expect it to be Scarfed. Hasep, especially if it's Berry Juice, I think should hard into Onyx. If it's not Berry Juice, obviously you just hope ICT's not Scarfed. But I'm pretty sure ICT is scarfed. So yeah, Hasep does go into his Onyx. His ICT goes for the jump kick, predicting that. And it is Berry Juice Do Duo. But jump kick should do enough to bring Do Duo into Mach Punch range, and ICT should pick up the victory. Yeah, I'm thinking ICT is Scarf. There's, if I had to guess, I would be surprised if ICT was Berry Juice. So, I'm thinking ICT just goes for the jump kick, and the Scarf jump kick, obviously, which will bring Doduo low enough to where, which with a combination of Brave Bird, will bring Doduo low enough. Though, I guess Aesop could go for the return, which will also kill Doduo, likely. And then save it a bit of HP. I think Hase is probably calcing how much the return does so that to see if he can actually go for that as opposed to the Brave Bird. Because if he can go for return and take out Doduo that'll save that potentially saves him out saves him enough HP to live enough mock punch. Um, but it's coming down to the wire. How Timber is at what? Timber's at... Oh! ICG switches out as... Goes for the knockoff. That was not what I expected. But, uh, Quick Attack's... The knockoff plus Quick Attack is going to be able to take out Timber. And back in comes ICT. Confirmed Scarf. And is going to be able to take out Hasep's Doduo with the Brave Bird. Quick attack's not enough, and Brave Bird is, and really good game. But ICT is going to pick up the victory and improve to one and one on the season. Hasep going to fall to zero and two. Not the best start, but incredibly close game. Incredibly close game. Um, obviously, ICT probably did calcs and realized that the. Quick attack either would kill Timber straight up, no matter what, even like before the knockoff, and or the uh, jump kick would not put it in mock punch range. But yeah. 
Hmm. Yeah, okay. Anyway, guys, I was just trying to process the game um, at the end there. But, yeah, really good game. And if you enjoyed, please feel free to leave a like. Comment with any feedback you have and stay subscribed for more LC content, including every single LC game this SPL. Um, yeah, my name is Dolchich, and I'll see you next time. Bye bye.